Analog tape has been a heavily debated subject amongst engineers, whether it's the increased resolution from a purely analog waveform without a conversion, or just an extra color added to the sound by the tape. There is a definite difference in the sound of analog. Now, it's up to the individual engineer whether or not that's better or not, and today we're going to let you, yes you, the viewer, choose. So what we've done is we've set up a double blind test so that if you come over and look at this patch bay here, we've split our signal off so the exact same signal is going both to tape and to Pro Tools. Over here, what we have is a Pro Tools HD1 system and if you follow me over here, we have a Studer A800 24 track analog 2 inch recorder. This will give us the best of both worlds and a great test between the two mediums. And now it's time to talk a bit about digital theory. In digital, the waveform is chopped up into individual pieces or samples in order to be converted. This leaves the space in between each sample out. In analog, the entire waveform is printed to tape, but its quality is degraded over time and can be significantly affected by environmental conditions such as humidity, temperature, and storage location. So, we have three file formats for you guys today. Since we can't get analog through to you, um, just because you're watching on a computer which is completely digital, we can't give you straight analog. So, we have a straight digital file for you that was originally track digital, mixed digital, and exported digital. This is a lot like the music you hear today, completely Pro Tools, never touched an analog deck of any kind. Next, we have a file that was tracked analog and then converted to digital. The next one is we've taken that same analog tape that we recorded on, we've stored it in a locker for three days where it's kind of deteriorated, it's broken in, and this is normal. The traditional effects that are supposed to happen is a high frequency attenuation and a overall roundness of the sound. So after reviewing all of our clips here, we're actually pleasantly surprised how well the analog sound transferred over to a digital format. Now this is because that analog sound that you refer to isn't primarily caused by a resolution. In fact, we noticed that the digital file is actually a higher fidelity than the tape. Because if you notice in the digital file, the delay on our bass guitar is a lot more apparent than it is in the analog. This is because the digital sound isn't colored. It's exact as it's coming in, which oftentimes isn't pleasing to the ear. The analog sound is colored. It's what almost distorted to a degree, but it's not in a bad distortion like you'd think of as clipping or integer overflow. It's a good kind of distortion that, and especially in this case, actually ends up adding to the music. So, go ahead and slam your tape to 11 because it's going to sound better that way. Have fun.